We know the hadith of Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu. It's a powerful narration where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks through the blessed lips of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Why we say this? Allah says in the Quran, He does not utter from his desires and whims and fancies. It is indeed revelation. It is inspired. It is something that comes from Allah. So when he says, you need to know what it means and you need to know it means whoever assists a fellow believer in dire needs so severe and so serious that it requires special care and attention, it requires assistance. If you help your brothers and sisters in that particular condition of dire need and you have gone out of your way to alleviate their suffering in any way, Allah says if that happened in this world, you need to know that we will alleviate your suffering on the day of judgment. What an easy way of preparing for the day of judgment. You have heard of an earthquake, you have heard of a tsunami, you have heard of people who are homeless, you have heard of people who are hungry and you reached out to them. And you went and even if you helped a person, you were included in this hadith, Subhana, subhanallah. Even if you have gone out, for example, somewhere across the globe, far or near, and you have helped those in dire need, alleviated their suffering in one way, even in a small possible way, put a smile on their faces, make them feel you are not alone, we are with you, subhanallah, you will find on the day of judgment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reach out to you. Allah will help you in this dunya, and Allah will call you out by name Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will create ease for you and me on the day of judgment and in this dunya may we be among from those who reaches out to others who helps out others who makes people's life easy who helps people in their dire need Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam stated of by making mention those in dire need, then he says, whoever creates any form of ease, now this is not making mentions of dire need, but any form of ease, whoever creates any form of ease for their brothers and sisters, Allah will create ease for them in this world as well as in the next. So do you want ease in your problems? Then go and help those who are in problems. When you help others, Allah helps you.